I was reading the little book of Jude the other day and came across verse 21. And this stood out to me, and I hope it'll stand out to you too. But this is what Jude says. Keep yourself in God's love. Uh, Now that may be so simple to you that you just pass over it quite quickly, but it's actually a profound thing to remember as we go through our lives. Keeping yourself in God's love. Well, what does that mean? It, It means, first of all, that we're reminded that God really does love us. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you are God's son. You are God, you are his daughter. And he loves you in ways that you will never get or understand, ways that are beyond your imagination, uh, and, but ways that are true and ways that you can trust him. God loves you. He loves you enough that we know that well-known verse that he sent his only son so that you could have that eternal life. But what's it mean to keep in God's love? It means that you meditate on it. You reflect on it. It means that as you go through life, that you don't have to treat God like somebody who you have to earn his love. You don't have to think or worry about God being mad at you and he's not going to love you anymore. His love is so unlike human love. It is so, goes so far beyond that. It is based entirely on his covenantal relationship with us. God loves us. And so to keep yourself in God's love means I don't have to prove anything to God. I don't have to prove anything to anybody else. I don't have to prove that I'm religious. But it also means that I, I also don't have to live in fear. I, I don't have to be concerned that somehow he's forgotten me. I, I don't have to worry about, am I alone? Does he not care for me? So keeping yourself in God's love is meditating on that truth. God really does love me. God loves me to the point that he sent his only son to die on the cross for me. God loves me enough that he sent the spirit of Christ Jesus to live in me. And he, he lives in me. He leads, he guides, he protects, he grants me wisdom. And because of that, I am never alone. You know, you may feel unloved in this world. You may be having a week or a day where it feels like nobody cares you, you know, no cares about you. You may feel very lonely and you may actually feel very unlovable. But if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, uh, you are loved and you're loved beyond anything that anyone could ever say or imagine. And Paul makes that very clear. So here's my challenge. Another challenge for you as you move into 2022 Keep yourself in the love of God. I'm Bob Warner, and I'd like you to think about that.